In this module we will start modeling structures in AutoCAD Plant 3D and in this class we will make an introduction to the subject. Come on, let's go. Structure modeling in Plant 3D does not produce professional models or details of these structures. This modeling aims to configure a space that can be used as a reference to position equipment and piping in the project. Plant 3D is equipped with a frame modeler, which allows us to perform tasks without worrying about screwed connections between beams, columns and boards. However, we can import more detailed models of other software that allow this breakdown at the beginning of the project. But for most projects, the features offered by Plant 3D are sufficient for modeling the structure. Structure modeling in Plant 3D allows, in addition to the insertion of beams and columns, the addition of floors, slabs, shoes, stairs and body guard. This modeling is very complete, making it possible to easily build the structure for the overall layout of the project. Where the equipment will be positioned and the pipeline will be routed. The structure modeler function allows you to create a grid and easily configure the structure. We can also use simple lines of AutoCAD 2D and 3D to create the desired structure. In this module we will study the creation and editing of grids, which although optional in the modeling of structures, make this process much easier. The grid is used to create beams, columns, floors, stairs, slabs, shoes and body guard. The curler also has several functions for finishing, such as cutting and extending the structure, giving it precision for use in the design. The way you work in Plant 3D is simple with a frame modeler. First we create the grid with the necessary main dimensions. Then we can get more details using simple AutoCAD lines. After that, we use other options in this tab to improve our structure. We finished this class, where we met the structure modeler of AutoCAD Plant 3D, and we knew the function grid, which is the theme of this module.